Alright friends, you are listening to the Conservative Daily Post. Got a rather massive fire down here near uh, Monument Road and uh, uh, 7th Street Northwest. Not allowed to get too close for obvious reasons. But for points of the site, I will do my best to try to get as much footage as I can for everyone. Have you been here for good since it started? All right. I'm looking for people that have been here since the beginning. We are going to go ahead and film this as it happens. We've got all the everything right here as it happens. I think I'm going to be told to move here in a minute. And I'm going to have to if I do. So I'm going to try to focus on what the actual problem was until I get chased away. Have you been here since it started? No. Alright. Uh, one of the major uh, buildings have been caught on fire. It was rumored that it was the uh, Schneider Lumber Building that was located next door. That doesn't currently seem to be the case. We got a number of people around us who are watching this as it unfolds. Um, right now it looks like just a regular fire. I may have been called down here for nothing, but uh, currently I can't find anyone else who has been here at the scene who can give me any information. I have a feeling that I'm as close as I'm allowed to get and still have any uh, communication allowed to me with it. I could probably walk around the building, which I'll do before I log off, but it does seem that we have uh, filmed everything that there is to see here. But I'm going to stay with this for a little bit longer, if at all possible. I'm going to try to ask somebody what may have happened here. I have a feeling that once I do, I'm going to be asked to leave. So I'm not going to go out of my way to ask that question. But uh, we've got right there from the sky, guys. Right there from the skies, we have uh, water being shot down. Now, I know that this is popular in other communities, but in Canton, Ohio, this is about as rare as hen's teeth, okay? So what we've got here is one of the uh, helicopters or something in the sky, I can't quite tell what it is due to the smoke, uh, putting water directly onto the building from the sky. This is happening from the sky as we report here at the Conservative Daily Post. I want to give a shout out to Chris DeGange, uh, DJ Aram from the band Passing Time for alerting me to this as it happened. Uh, once again, friends, this is the correct views massive fire taking place at a warehouse here when I first arrived it did look like the fire was under control but now that I've been here for a minute it seems to not be the case it looks a lot worse and we have air uh, we have air surveillance as well I'm not sure now that that is water I take that back it seems to be just a searchlight uh, looking back on this video, it will be very easy for you to call me dumb. But it looked like water at the time that the, uh, the, the uh, footage was happening. If you look at it on video, it may have always looked like a light. But to me, it looked like water as I was here on the scene. I see now that that is not the case. But uh, that's what happens when you try to guess while you're on the scene. I'm not a firefighter, my friends. I'm only a journalist. So I was wrong. That is just a light. Right there, the first responders are at the scene.
Do you have any idea what caused the blaze? All right, we've got no official statement, as you saw there just now, as to what has caused the fire. Once again, that is not water being hosed down. That was my mistake. It doesn't look like we're gonna get much more at this time. Um, obviously no official statements at the scene. I'm gonna walk around the block so that you guys can get another uh, take on what it is that we are seeing here. I'm also going to head and ask anybody at the scene if they have been here since the start of the fire so that I can get some kind of assessment. I don't know if anybody has. Has anybody here been here from the beginning of the fire? I am from the conservative Daily Post. Thank you. All right, I'm going to ask a police officer before I move on. Hello, sir. I'm with the conservative Daily Post and I had wondered if you have been here since the original fire and if you had any statement that you'd wish to say on it. No comment, to talk to the chief daughter. I've got no comment there, friends, but I am doing my best. I'm going to move onward. Thank you for your time, sir. I'm going to go to the other side and see if I can get a better video. As it stands, we've got no official statement from anybody at the scene at this time. It does not appear as if ambulances have been used. Let me see if I can find the chief to see if I can get some kind of a statement on this. My guess is that the scene is probably too busy now for me to be able to do that. But I am going to try and see if I can get that done. They may ask me to leave. And if they do, I'm going to have to do so. Right there, you've got a gurney but it doesn't appear that anybody at this time has been involved, uh, has been included in injuries, which is good. I'm gonna see if I can get an official statement at this time. Hello, sir. Is there anybody that could give me an official statement at this time? All right, I've got nobody at this time that can give me an official statement. So I'm going to move on and try to get a video from the other side of the fire. And then I'm going to log off. Um, I've got police officers up here. I'm going to film the other side of the accident. And then I'm going to see if I can get uh, some kind of a statement from the police officer that I just saw. And then after that, I'm going to move on. It looks like just a normal fire but I will continue uh, to cover this as long as I can. I'm going to ask these people that are at this porch beside me, but I'm not going to film them. You're not on film, but if anybody has seen this since it started, I work for the conservative Daily Post. If anybody wants to give a comment about the fire, if not, I'm just going to keep... Excuse me? The what? The fire was horrible. Oh, the fire was horrible, yes. All right, we're talking to people that are very close to the fire, and they've said that it, Do you have any idea, are there any rumors as to what may have started the fire? No. All right, thank you very much, sir. We are walking down uh, Canton as the fire unfolds. We have been told that it is horrible. Um, we're now walking down further to get a picture of the fire from the other side of the street. And I'm trying to find anybody that has seen it since it started. So far, we've got nothing. So I'm going to walk around here, ignore the uh, dark screen. It is the middle of the night in Canton, Ohio. And I don't want to shut this video off because if I do, I'm going to have to make more than one video of it. So I'm going to film the fire from the other side. And then I'm going to ask the people I see here that you can't see yet on camera if they've been here since the beginning and then I plan to upload this if I can't get any more information
Here we are on the other side of the fire. There is the uh, the uh, air the air the crane that I had mistakenly thought was a helicopter. Uh, you're gonna have to when you look this back. You're gonna have to give me a little bit of uh, forgiveness here. There was too much fog for me to see that that was not a helicopter. Well, I guess not fog. I uh, smoke. So uh, I'm filming that. I'm, my shoes are now drenched because I just walked through a puddle and I'm filming it. Um, none of you are on camera. Have any of you been here since it began or do you wish to make a comment of the conservative Daily Post? Uh, I got nobody here that wants to make a comment. Everybody here seems to be about as confused as I am. But we uh, do have on the site footage. I don't want to get closer because if I do I'm going to be in the way. I have asked two people for an official statement and have not gotten one. Um, I don't know that there's much more that I can report here. Again, I don't want to bother them for reasons that are painfully obvious. But uh, this is a picture of the fire from the other side of the building. Again, at one point the smoke was so severe that I thought that that was a helicopter spraying water and it was just a reflection of the lights from the fire truck crane. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get an official statement from the police officers and if not then I'm going to go home and get out of the way because my job is to get a statement or to get out of the way. So I'm going to do that uh, as we move onward. I'm now walking through a puddle now my feet are double drenched. I'm going to see if I can get a statement from the police officers and see if I can get these people on the side of the road. Uh, has anybody been here since the beginning or do you wish to make a statement to the conservative Daily Post? I got nobody that wants to so I'm going to move onward. And again it's going to be dark because I have to go around the block and I don't want to shut this video off because if I do I'm going to have to post two videos. However, I'm about to ask a police officer for an official statement before I leave. That is, if he's still there. And I don't know what, if he's going to say anything. My guess is that he won't. Because we don't really, I don't think, know what happened here. Um, if I was a sensationalist, I would say, oh, it could be arson. It could be terrorism. Well, it could be also just a normal fire. So I don't want to be one of quote unquote those people. So as I uh, move up to the, uh, the site here once again, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about getting some kind of a statement. Um, I will say that Canton police are both very friendly lately. They didn't used to be. Very friendly, but uh, very tight-lipped. So we're going to go with this and see what happens. Uh, it looks like the cops that I wanted to ask have left. So I'm going to continue with this. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get any information above what I've already given. Oh, uh, very little. Nobody knows here whether or not it is uh, uh, on purpose or if it's an accident, but uh, I'm trying. Okay. If they do, they're not telling. All right, uh, guys, I've got a whole lot of nothing here. We've already established that there was a fire. Um, I'm not going to stay on this much longer. Because how long are you going to watch a video of a building burning? Uh, we don't have any current information. But this is Sam I.B. DeGange with the Conservative Daily Post. Teddy Stick and freelancing for the Canton Repository. I don't know if they're going to take it or not. But I guarantee the other two will. And uh, let me see if I can get an official statement before I head home. One more look at the actual scene. It does appear as if the entire ceiling of the building has caught fire. I wouldn't imagine that this could be uh, 
easily remedied. There we have one of the first responders going back into, uh, it looks like, uh, it looks to me like everything seems here to be at a level of confidence.